Morning guys, it's five o'clock in the morning, I've just got up for the fourth time to go to the toilet, I've decided I've get, I'm getting old, anyway, it's been like for about three quarters of an hour now, I'm just giving you a view on the bike, the Clematis Montana has started to flower, the first plants in the garden that does flower and it's the last one to lose its leaves in the winter so it's an excellent climber and uh, there's a, there's the field on the bike I'm looking across next door shed anyway just put the kettle on. I'm having a coffee and I'll just let the cats out. Right guys, it's now half past five. I've just had two coffees and I'm starting to come round. It's getting a bit lighter. Just showing you a few sheds. I don't know if you can make out my black Toyota Esteem 1995 I've got to swap the engine on that, it's finally given up the ghost I mean it has done 400,000 miles so I can't complain got my engine noise to the left there, can you see it, the orange one um, I have got a spare engine and cylinder head for it so that's the next job a couple of weeks time Get the old bus back on the road. Let's have a look at next door shed. There's uh, definitely no lathes in that shed. The chap's a fashion designer. It's uh, mainly sequins and handbags. Trees are starting to leaf now. Right, today I'm going to get the heat treating oven up and running. I've got a few pieces to put in it, um, mainly files, um, but I've got the head off a, a sledgehammer that I'm going to anneal and uh, maybe the right size to make a few tool holders for the quick change tool post. Right, let's get cracking on with it. chosen some files that I'm going to make the um, wood turning chisels from. Uh, the problem is I'm going to make a skew, a scraper out of that one. The half round file, I don't know if that will make a spindle gouge, but if not, I've got some high tensile bar that I can turn down to uh, one inch that will certainly make a spindle gouge and this is the sledge on the head that I'm going to anneal I think that will be big enough to for the uh, mini mini tool post I think that's uh, maybe get uh, two or three out of that so let's get them in That's the longest item, but Hmm. 
This is a controller box that I made for the heat treating oven. PID controller. Two switches, one for the main power, one for the supply to the to the oven. Um, and I'm just switching it on there. Pressing that switch. That comes on. At the moment it's 35.8 degrees and I've got it set for 765 once it gets to that temperature I'll just let it soak for a couple of hours so turn the main power on um, and it's as you can see it starts to climb um, it's using uh, 1.79 kilowatts and at the moment it's drawing just over 7 amps so it doesn't use a lot of current anyway it's going to take quite a while to get up to that temperature so I shall bring you back when we've reached it right guys the oven's been on for three hours now and we've just passed the 500 centigrade mark still got another 265 to go so it's going to take a while yet so uh, in the meantime I've got to find something else to do there's um, on the telly there's old episodes of Coronation Street but I don't think I fancy that so let's see what we've got so well, guys I've found something to do I've been in the process of making some doors for my smart and brown lathe didn't come with any doors the, the holes are there for the hinges but the doors are long gone and um, I'd like to replace them with something similar style to the rest of the machine. Now these uh, pieces came with um, a belt sander that I bought. It was like a side table attached to it and I didn't need it on that, it's surplus. And I thought they were a nice thickness, they'd be ideal to make two doors. Um, I was unsure what uh, what material this was at first, but I've cut it in half. And looking at it, I don't know if that shows up on the camera. It's a piece of plywood, but there's about 36 individual pieces sandwiched together. I've cut it with the handsaw, but I've slightly wandered a bit. So, I started wondering if it's possible to um, plane it on the metal shaper. Now if you've ever planed any ply, you'll know that it's not the best material to plane. Because the grains are running in 90 degree directions, it tends to rip on the end grain. But with this being so fine material, I thought it might um, might be slightly different. Anyway, I've got uh, I've got one piece mounted in the vise, and I'm going to use this um, shear tool that I made. There's about 45 degree angle on the cutting blade. It's uh, high speed steel. Mount that. Mount that in the clapper box. I'm going to keep the clapper box vertical on this. I don't think this need any need to angle it in the direction of the cut. Move that piece.
There you go guys, a metal shaper will play in wood, you learn something every day. Well we're now at 532 degrees, still got some distance to go, but the beauty of the uh, electric oven is you can just leave it to do its own. The uh, PID will automatically cut the temperature up once it reaches the the 765 and then I'm going to maintain it at that for two hours but then it will take a long time for it to cool down there's a massive amount of insulation in that oven and it will take a good few hours for it to cool down but in the meantime I'm going to see if my metal shaper will cut on sliced bread <laughs> 